Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over the SyncWire car mount phone holder. And this one is simple, superior, and reliable. Can't wait to actually check this out. This is the third time that I have worked with SyncWire and they actually sent this out to me for a review. So definitely feel free to leave me a comment down in the so definitely feel free to leave me a comment down in the comment section below anytime and let me know what you guys think about today's video and what you guys think about today's product as well. Let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at it and see exactly what we've got. First things first, we got all the products wrapped up nicely right here. Let's go ahead and take these out like so. First of all, we have the spring mounting clip, and this one has the tightening lever as well. Just tighten it down like so. You can see it actually start to grab a hold like that. Then alongside that, we have the ball joint knob. Now on the main unit right here, we have the bracket, the bracket arm, and we also have the bracket opening button, which is just like so. And then you place your phone inside of there and just Tighten it back down into place and then just have your ball joint connected like so. Whether you want it in your car vent or you want it on your actual window or your dashboard. So let's go ahead and head to the car and take a look and see exactly how easy it is to assemble and how easy it is to actually use once it is assembled. You can also adjust the length that this bracket arm comes out and the degree in which it is tilted as well. Seems like it has a very strong hold. So that is gonna be fantastic, guys. Let's go ahead and hop over to the vehicle. And I'm gonna be checking out today, which is gonna be a Honda Accord, which is what I normally ride in. But today it's my stepsister's vehicle. So let's go ahead and check it out. Probably gonna be gifting this to her. So everybody comment congratulations down in the comment section below, just to tell her congratulations on getting her first car. Let's go ahead and jump on over there and check it out. All right, guys, here we are at the car, and we have all of our components right here. Let's go ahead and set these two to the side, and we'll go ahead and show you all exactly how to install the car mount clip on the air vents first. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and place this on top of the ball joint like so, and then place it inside there, and then we're going to just tighten it down. After we get our positioning correct as well, what we're going to want to do is have it like so. And we'll keep the latch that controls how tight it is right on the top so it's easily accessible as well. And then just go ahead and tighten it down a little bit. Remember, like I said, what we're gonna wanna do is just connect it to the air vent clip itself. All right, and go like this. And then tighten it down like so. In the back, you'll see that little knob. All right, bingo, bango, Winnebago. Then in order to place your phone inside of there, all you'll just need to do is press this button like so. Place your phone, which all I have is my phone case, in there like so, and then just snap it down like so, and it holds perfectly, I mean like really tight, and it's on there as well, really tight. Actually can't even pull it off of there. So the sync wire collar mount uh, is absolutely fantastic. Also has the gap for you to also connect your charger to it as well. So you won't be uh, stopped right there when it comes to charging your phone. So definitely fantastic. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like up on the dashboard and connect it there as well. What you need to do is unscrew that, pop off the joint. Go ahead and place the ball right here. Snap it on like so. Align everything up just like you need it. And then just go ahead and attach that ball joint on there as well. Make sure it's lined properly. And take off the normal film that you have. Place it onto the actual dashboard. And press it down. And there it is, like so. Let's go ahead and get up a... Nice up close on it. 
Now, all you need to do is tighten this down right here to have it in the right direction, whichever way you would like it. And then, as you can tell, give it a good yank. See that forearm popping out there? And it is definitely on there very tight. Like I said, all you can, all you need to do is loosen that side up. And what we'll do is just go ahead and place that back on like so. And then you also have your boom arm, which comes out really nicely. Absolutely fantastic. Doesn't seem like it'll have too much give. Might shake a little bit, but actually I don't think it will as soon as I tighten down this right here. It shouldn't have that much give to the left and the right. Yes, definitely much more sturdy. All right, guys, now since we went over both ways to install it, please let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this product that we went over today. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Real Life Unboxing for more products with Real Life applications. Smash that notification bell to stay up to date on our newest uploads. And as always, keep it real.